guys, this is Baggy from Magnificent Tarot. I am back with How Do They Feel? How Do They Feel? Um, video series for the sign of Sagittarius. Hey, Sag. This is going to be a three card spread as per usual. Um, and it's past, present, future layout. Very simple. I clarify. I'm going through the whole deck. And I'm going to tell you how your partner feels about you. Okay. Um, this may not apply. I've been picking up a lot of, um, a lot of, you know, Debbie Downer readings. I'm going to call them Debbie Downers because <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are trying to stay optimistic and hopeful. But a lot of you guys need to understand that it's time. Venus in retrograde is going to be getting those, those issues, bringing them issues to the surface. Those emotions, those repressed emotions. All that fa false optimism and that, oh, this is going to work out. All of that is going to be put on the forefront and you guys are going to see what these relationships are for what they really are okay so um hopefully you get a positive reading if not take what resonates with you um the energies are interchangeable okay thank you shuffle enough um i am taking no clients on instant go i'm answering um questions for 10 bucks on instant go if you want me to answer a question right away please hit me up on instant go i am running a special venus in retrograde um, $25 special video reading. You get a detailed video reading. I'll let you know what to expect with the Venus in retrograde. Um, and I answer one question. Okay. So please check the description box for my contact information. I'm also on Patreon, you guys. Check me out. Um, without further ado, let's get it started. Please excuse the smudges on my table. <clears throat> I had put some um, moisturizer on my hand. Um, but your partner feels like, uh, they're stuck and reminiscing about the past. Your partner, mm -mm, your partner is not, they really going through something. Um, Sag, okay. Or they feel like you're going through something. They try to reconcile, they wanted a reconciliation with you, but they just feel like, yo, you know, like you did so much and they don't know if they want to take you back. They really want to keep, they're emotionally detached. They're sitting under this tree, pouting. They're looking at this cup. They're like, should I take this cup? They want to take the cup, but then they're like, nah, this person's not good for me. This person's toxic. It's time for me to put this, this relationship to, to rest because they really want a new start. They wouldn't really want to start over. They feel like they're tired of your lies. They're tired. Um, this could be them being afraid of taking a risk with you all as well, okay? Um, they're tired of your attitude, but they just want to move forward. There's a lot of yellow here, solar plexus activity. They're gaining some type of um, um, activation or upgrade as it pertains to their their alignment of their chakras here. Their solar plexus is um, being highlighted because that is where the issues stem. And there is fear and there is um, a lot of um, confidence issues here. But they are tired of fighting with you. There is a power struggle. We have a pair. Okay, Queen's King, um, and this is tit for tat, passing into the future. Someone was doing it in the past, now the other person is doing the tit for tat. They're basically giving you a taste of your own medicine. They're showing you what you were doing to them so you could feel, see how it feels, but that don't always work. What that does is it causes a five of swords energy, which is which means no one wins. No one wins, okay? Um, and you guys are being closed up. Another pair, King, of, uh, King, uh, King and Queen of Cups. In the now, so both of you guys are detaching, both of you guys are being hurt, both of you guys are closed off, both of you guys are lying, both of you guys are being deceitful. Okay, this is mirroring at its finest, lying in the sinning. Okay, so your partner wants the truth, your partner wants recognition, your partner wants to be released from feeling this anxiety and heartache and depression, they want to heal this relationship. But at the same time, they don't really know how to. They're stuck at a crossroad. Um, they, they're stuck hanging in that tree, feeling regret, feeling remorse, feeling anxiety, wanting to stand in their power, but not really knowing how to stand in their power. And ask me how I know, because they're feeling left out in the cold. This loss has put them out of whack. They do want a fresh start with you, but they don't know if they can trust you. They don't even trust their damn selves in their, in their judgment. Um, they're not listening to their intuition. They feel like um, you're too secretive. Um, they don't know if they want to give you some, this offer or they don't know if they want to take your offer. Um, and they feel, they feel like you're resisting closing this chapter 
or this is them feeling like they don't want to close this chapter, but they know that they have to here. They know that this is an, this is something destined. This is something that is inevitable for this relationship, and because they know you're tired, you're you're fearing the change too. That's why there's a resistance here. That's why both of you guys are mirroring each other. But this devil energy, this toxic energy, this toxic tied to each other has to be put to rest here. Okay? There needs to be some action. Something needs to happen fast. Okay? Because if not, there's no hope for this relationship. This relationship is not going in the right direction here. Um, and this is not a new beginning won't be manifested because no one wants to make a decision and cut people off when they need to, okay? Right? Not being honest, not being truthful, not really making a decision, not living in, you know, doing things from a place of integrity, wanna just, you know, fight, or just one, you guys are just, I don't know, Sag. <laughs> but what I do know is somebody's tired. Someone wants fairness in them now. Okay. And they're trying to take an unconventional approach. They're trying to be more off open minded. But I really feel like this person just wants some freedom right now. At, at, at this very moment. Or or eventually they just want to be set free. They want freedom. They, this, they don't feel like nothing is fair. They feel like this is a struggle. Okay. These cards are sticking together. All they wanted was some action, some movement. You know, nine to the eight. That progression is going backwards, but they, they're not getting that. They feel like you're not offering them anything. Um, you just want to play the field. You want to play games. You want to cheat. You want to be out here fucking around uh, um, when you could just, you know, when they just wanted you to be their husband. But like I said, both of you guys are doing the same shit. Another pair right, right under each other. Okay? I can't make this shit up. Okay? This is stability. This is security. They felt like there was some type of stability or they all they wanted from you was the stability and security. And it's like they can't have it for some reason because both of you guys won't let go of the past. Both of you guys are being selfish, but both of you guys want each other. You're both each other's wish, wish fulfillment, but you're both breaking each other's heart. But this is how they feel. They feel like you're breaking their heart because you want to be a hoe. <laughs> But this is for males or females. And this is not for me, you guys. What the cards are telling me, okay? Don't don't kill me. Don't be in my comments cussing me out, okay? But y'all know, whoever this resonates for, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Domestic problems in a relationship. Damn, it's like they hate you and they love you. Love, hate relationship. I love you, but I hate you. But I love you, but I hate you. But I love you. I loved it, you, baby. They wanna, they wanna, uh, <laughs> they wanna, I don't know. They feel so much passion towards you. They just can't let go because the sex is crazy. The sex is crazy. Damn, Sash, what you doing to this person? But it's like, what, what are you really trying to offer me? Now both got choices. This is a situation ship at its finest. But this could be a marriage because I did see a lot of pairs. Got options here. You want to be in a club. You want to be playing around. This is also that open marriage thing that I had picked up last month. Some of you guys are in, into polygamy. Some of you sages are into like an open relationship or swinging. And I feel like somebody's having too much fun with that. It was only supposed to be maybe one or two times, a few times, having fun. But some of y'all ran with that shit. And now y'all feel like entitled to be just doing whatever you want to do out here being reckless. When wifey was just like, you know, let's just for fun one time, a few times. But you out here wanting to be reckless, you, you know. They, they don't know if they want to keep putting work into this, you know. They're tired of the secrets, you know. And they're tired of you not really re revealing your true feelings. Tired of waiting on this slow ass offer. And they just said, you know what, I don't just want to walk away. I don't got time for this shit. <laughs> They need, they need you to make a decision because they're tired of being patient. They're tired of you being defensive. They want to heal, but they're tired of lies. They're tired of feeling frustration, frust, frustrated and let down 
They're tired of you being combative. They're tired of you not taking any action. They're tired of you juggling. They're tired of you. And they're going to make a decision. And their decision is, I'm going to focus on myself because I'm tired of you manipulating me. I'm tired of feeling insecure. I'm tired of having a lot of all this fear. I'm tired of you not opening up to me. And, I, I, and I'm going to let go. Because I just wanted to communicate with you. I just wanted us to have, be on the same page. All you doing is all you're doing is holding me back from the future and the love that I deserve. You're putting me in a position of being the, uh, the being, you know, you're not putting me in the position of being the main in your life, making me feel like I'm just the other person, making me feel like I don't matter, making me feel like I'm powerless, that I don't have a say so. Okay. You won't apologize. They feel like you won't apologize or this is them. Maybe wanting to apologize to you or maybe wanting to share something to you. They want you to open up. They want you to open up because they feel very overwhelmed and they feel restricted and they feel stressed. They feel a lot of anxiety because you won't tell them the truth. So they're going to move on. Because they don't have no, they don't have the strength in, anymore to keep working on this relationship. They feel like the relationship is not built on a sturdy foundation. And they're just going to go ahead and focus on themselves here. Because you're making them feel lonely and rejected anyways. So that is your reading. Thank you for um, watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.